The International Community Foundation was founded in 1990 uh, as a foundation dedicated to working with U.S. donors wanting to make a difference internationally. And our focus is primarily Mexico, Central America, and that's where we've been supporting nonprofits, community by community, for the last 20 years. Being a community foundation, we are focused very much at the community level. We support nonprofits in the areas of environment, in education, in health, in arts and culture, community development. We believe in promoting sustainable communities. Our services are so special because instead of waiting for the people to come here to our clinic, we go to the poorest neighborhoods in Tijuana to provide medical services. One of our main programs is uh, the cervical cancer program and the breast cancer program and reproductive and sexual health. Through the International Community Foundation, we have met donors who are interested in helping us to provide better services and for more people. The wonderful thing about the International Community Foundation is we're a community of donors. We work with donors that are just beginning to start their careers and want to look at how to make a difference. And we work with more sophisticated donors that in some cases may even have their own family foundations. We serve as a conduit for donors, large and small, to make a difference internationally. Our beginning work with the International Community Foundation was broadly focused on the Baja Peninsula. My late husband and myself love the sea. A lot of our work has been in the Sea of Cortez. It's very difficult to separate issues on land from issues in water. They are sort of tied together in these coastal communities. I love the due diligence that they did. I love that they went down and really uh, looked at grants that were being made and judged their value and gave me really good feedback on that. That was a big reason why I loved for many years working with this organization. Organics Unlimited is an organic distributor of uh, organic bananas and we also grow bananas in Mexico. The reason why we started Grow is because we've always liked to help our workers have a better quality of life and we decided to do something that will help them reach that. GROW stands for giving resources and opportunities to workers. If you buy a box of GROW bananas, you're going to be giving them 60 cents per box. And that helps develop programs for all these children and all the people in the community. We're very proud of those children that have already graduated. And those children that received the help from GROW have gone back and helped the project our business is to grow bananas and to sell organic bananas but we wanted accountability for all those funds so that's the reason why we contacted the International Community Foundation you know we're working with two different countries and they know exactly what we're looking for in Mexico and in the United States because accountability in the United States for our customers who buy the grow label is very very important The fact that we have a broad base of donors allows us to be able to come in and bring other donors to support specific efforts. In Mexico alone, we're supporting about 60 different uh, charities. So we work with donors that are really trying to get directly to those charities working on the ground. Wild Coast has been working with the International Community Foundation to conserve San Ignacio Lagoon, the world's last undeveloped gray whale lagoon. We've helped conserve over 140,000 acres of beautiful lagoon. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's literally a place that we can stand and watch 40-foot gray whales convert with their babies and dozens of whales. It's an amazing place. Wild Coast works directly with government agencies, other NGOs, and communities to conserve some of the world's most beautiful and ecologically important islands, bays, lagoons, and coastlines, as well as to help stop the slaughter of endangered species such as sharks and sea turtles. ICF helps us bridge the gaps between communities on the ground and organizations uh, in the United States that are really interested in making social investments that actually make a difference. Our hope is that over time we broaden the base of donor support so we can serve more communities in the countries we're serving. We need to look at ways that we can bridge borders. We are living in the largest binational 
uh, region in North America, which is San Diego, Tijuana. We feel that we have a responsibility to this community to do more to educate San Diego area donors about giving back, and that's where we're here to serve.